Hello people from London, we are with the parkour community. Once again we are testing a new Godox flashlight, the V860 Mark III for Sony cameras. It's not a review, we're just going to go through some tips and try to achieve some nice shots with one flashlight in daytime. It can be very challenging, that's why we're here today. And if you want to see a review, drop a comment in the comments tab and I'll try to make it as soon as I can. I have the Godox V860 Mark III for Sony cameras. That's the Sony version, but you will find also for Canon and different other brands. I'm also using a trigger, the X-Pro S. And what's the benefit of using a trigger? Without the trigger, usually your flash has to be on camera. That's a non-camera flash. But with the trigger, you can transmit the signal from the trigger to uh, the flash so you can place it literally anywhere you want up to 100 meters away from uh, your camera. So I can actually place the flash close to my subject but I can be further away from the subject with a long lens and still achieve amazing results. In terms of settings for the trigger uh, you need to set it up to high speed sync. If you don't do that, you're allowed to shoot only with the shutter speed at 1 250th of a second, uh, which sometimes is, n is not enough, especially if you want to do action shots as we're trying today. With the high speed sync option instead, you can go up to 1 8,000th of a second in terms of shutter speed. Talking about camera gear, guys, I've got the Sony a7R 3 which is my main photo camera, and I'm gonna match you with a 16 to 35 G Master Sony lens f2.8 and the beautiful G Master lens 85 millimeters at f1.4. I'm gonna try some shots right after the intro. First shot here guys, we tried, there's a couple of walls, the guys are trying the jumps. Now, we took a couple of shots, you can check it right here, but the flash is not powerful enough to overpower the sun. So we need to find a different solution. Uh, the flash is probably three meters away from the subject and no diffusion, so we need to get closer. I guess that's a solution with the sun out. So let's see if we find another spot. People, we find the spot. We're gonna set up the stand. With the flashlight, it has to be very close to the subject or the sun is just too strong for this flashlight. But yeah, we can do some moves with Matt and the guys here. In terms of settings on the camera, I've got f6.3, uh, shutter speed 1 640th of a second, ISO 50, so the minimum as we can get. For this shot, using the 16 to 35, uh, all the way to 16 millimeters because I'm close to the subject and I want to get some buildings in the background as well. Would you do just a, a step vault maybe, just a step vault? What? Oh jeez, that's really high! <laughs> okay, he's very high for Matt, he is a tall guy. Don't hold the map thing, I'm going to do a flick up. Like, we okay, we, do, we try a flick up anyway. Oh my god! Yeah. Alright. Yeah. yeah. Okay guys, we're trying again. Cat leap this time. Actually, Matt I'm is jumping. jumping. Matt I'm is jumping, jumping over there. Flash on the stand here. Same settings. Uh, the, yeah, sun is so strong. Uh, but let's... We're good? Uh, yeah, let's see. It is better. It's a bit of a weird angle. Oh, there, but yeah, but look at the flashlight is working. Oh, that flash is beautiful. Yeah. It looked like a frog. Flashlight is beautiful, he said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's actually working right now, so. The light settings are great. I don't think I'm supposed to look like a frog that in the That was fucking air. sick, man. Do you know what I'm saying? Subscribe. No, I can't. <laughs> yeah, go, go follow Eugene as well, somewhere. I'm going to drop the links here. And Matt, of course, purple guy, go yeah. and check him out. Super XXL, parkour community. Join yeah, us. go and check yeah. us out here. <laughs> Sunday parkour jams. And yeah. buy the t-shirts. What's next? We're going to switch to an 85 millimeters, guys, and see what we can do with the flash a bit further away from the subject. He's a baby, baby lens. Love this lens. Okay, guys, we're with Rico. There you go. Here's the guy. <laughs> New model. We're going to 
find it on Instagram or wherever, right? You go on Instagram, or put the link down here. So I go and check him out. We're gonna take this shot now with an 85 millimeters. He's doing some crazy stunts with one hand on top of these railway bricks. We're gonna try to snap a shot. So we got the flashlight right here facing Rico. And settings wise, we have uh, shutter speed 1 800 of a second, F 4.5, I guess so 50. Let me just test it out first, man. Okay, guys, we have this shot. We have another handstand with Rico here. Uh, 85 millimeters on in this nice alley, flash on the floor. <laughs> Uh, literally one meter away from the subject. Okay, I'm gonna get down to the floor and test it out. So far, anyway, I use the flash at full power one, one. Otherwise, there's no way to overpower the light. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. settings for the flash I've been using all manual uh, you can use TTL as well which is basically the automatic settings of the flash but I prefer to do all manual uh, so I've got control on on the exposure light and okay. so on okay guys we try a new jump with Meteor <laughs> Hi. I don't know if you met Meteor but you can follow her on Instagram down here right we're gonna yeah. share the video we set up the flash light on this side again against the sun so we have the sun there as a fill light as a yeah um, headlight and we're gonna use this as a key light i have a few accessories that god sent me first of all and we can try them out this is the name of the kit they sent me all right we found the shot we think it, it's nice we got the flashlight on the stand right there with a small diffuser the round diffuser and uh, it looks nice. This is the photo we took out of focus, so we're gonna change a few things, but it works out. Guys, we're very happy with this shot, mm -hmm. aren't we? We got yeah. some new makeup. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's great in terms of settings. I give you some settings as well, so you know what we're doing. And I was at one 3,200 of, of a second in terms of shutter speed, F2.8, ISO 50, full power on the flashlight which I'm very happy about. So I'm gonna move actually here because the sun is too much. Okay. Can you just stop there and show me where your face will be so I can focus more or less. That's what you do, right? So your face would be there. Okay, thank you. Let's try. Ready. We're gonna move to the next location and we take some portrait photography with some umbrella and other accessories let's find out very happy with this light by the way all right check this shot here guys still with meteor so we got a wide angle lens 16 to 35 uh, the flashlight is here she is hanging off this wall and it's still a full power so we really have a nice contrast now with the sky because the sky is getting darker and the flashlight light up uh, meteor The flash light now is quite angled towards uh, up and we're gonna extend the, the bar, the stand and tilt it down, see what that creates. Okay, let's see. Okay, we have the same shot as you just seen with an 85 millimeters. Uh, maybe we go to F2.8 and I'm gonna be further away from Meteor. So we're gonna get some of this wool in front of the lens as well. Okay guys, these are the shots we just taken. We're gonna uh, go to 164th in terms of flash power, just to reduce the contrast between the, the sky, the background and Meteor's face. Look at her. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. Oh, it looks nice. Yeah, I love it. Nice. Okay, good stuff. Also, the small diffuser, spherical diffuser works really well, so definitely recommend it for a portrait. 
All right, we're gonna try with some barn doors now to direct the light a bit more. And I love this kit because it comes with a lot of different options. We're gonna try with some silhouette stuff. So the light is behind Meteor. We're gonna create some highlights uh, in the hair. Let's see. In this location, guys, we had no sun, so no natural light, which is much easier uh, to control your flash, of course. And with the flash, you can control your shot. So we're gonna move to a different location and trying to use the sun as well. But I'm very happy with the shot so far. Uh, we're gonna go. We going? Yeah. We go. Guys, Matt is back. Yeah. We're gonna do some portrait with the umbrella. Finally, we, we try to manage. By the way, half of the vlog is without audio. <laughs> so I can't show you what we filmed, but uh, still showing you the, the pictures, right? So we found this nice alley. It's quite dark, but it's very deep. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna take some, not corporate, but nice portrait that Matt can use on his profiles, right? That's the perfect pose we want. Can you show me again? Yeah, perfect for a portrait. <laughs> With a weird little grin. Check this light, guys. This is the natural light. Yeah, look at this. We're gonna use it as a fill light, but we're using the flash as a key light right here. We got the softbox, guys. We're gonna take some portrait of everyone. Do you guys need some photos for your profiles? Yeah. yeah. We can get we can get some yeah. photos each. All right, guys. We got this shot of Matt close up and medium shot as well. Guys, uh, can you hear me? So I freaked out because I thought I lost all the photos we took today. Uh, yeah, my camera went weird. But yeah, we got some nice shots with the guys. We got some with Meteor as well. Same setup. The key light is right here with the softbox. We got the sun as a fill light. Look at this beautiful highlights there. Yeah, you like it? You like it. end of the day, end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed the photos with the Godox V860 Mark III for Sony cameras. Again, you can find it for different brands. And uh, yeah, these are the photos we've taken, some of the photos. I'm sorry we lost some audio, but technology, that's how it works. We'll see you in the next video. Subscribe right now. <laughs>